If white had now played f2 f3, he would have left black with great problems and more or less no counter play, the g3 pawn is slightly weakened, but this is in the long term and as there is no quick way to get to it. Instead he weakened the f3 square, as well as the d3 pawn, in his efforts to defend f2, thus giving black the counter play necessary to survive. Moving the f pawn might at first feel a little artificial, but once you start looking at it seriously, it becomes very attractive. Therefore I suspect that Peter did not look seriously at this non-standard move. If he had, he probably would have played it. Chess is like that sometimes, you decide to save time for later decisions, unless you have already spent it on prior ones, not suspecting that this was the right moment. Getting better at understanding when we have to make a serious choice is one of the most elusive, but at the same time most important, skills for a string CHES player to develop. E2 E4 White has succeeded greatly on the queen side, while black has not established more than a threat to f2 on the king side. Queen f7 f3. There is an immediate threat to the d3 pawn. After Queen B2 D2, Black has a wonderful idea. Instead, knight d7 takes on b6. Rook a6 takes on b6. Rook b7 captures b6. Rook b3 captures b6. Rook f8 d8. Rook b6 b7. Offers white enough counterplay to draw, although even this might have been disappointing for him after being so much better. Bishop c3 e1. Bishop c3 e1. Knight d7 captures b6. Rook b3 captures b6. Rook b7 captures b6. Queen b2 captures b6. Rook f8 f6. Queen b6 a7. Rook f6 captures a6. Queen a7 takes on a6. Queen f3 captures d3. Queen a6 b5. Would have been the right way to play, as after. Queen d3 captures e4. Bishop e1 d2. White can still hold the balance.
Rook a6 captures b6. It was essential to force the exchange of rooks in order to survive. We could look at this conceptually and say that the f2 pawn and the white king are only weak if the rooks remain on the board. Without them the white bishop has more potential and white will make the draw. But this is rationalizing after the fact, something that is really useful to do when we analyze games, to develop our understanding slash intuition, but not of much help when you have a few minutes to choose between two seemingly unattractive options. Queen f3 takes on d3. A better chance to defend would have been Queen b2 b1 Queen d3 captures c4 Rook b6 b7 But once things start going against you, it is very hard to find the best chances. Rook b6 b7 Queen d3 takes on e4 Black is in full control. He eventually won.
Bishop e3. C5 C6 Rook A1 A7 